we need to do more reporting on this because it just can't be emphasized enough just the extent to which Trump absorbs the world through the television. You wrote this piece about the island of misfit toys. People who were on the campaign, like Corey, uh, people who sort of hung around the scene, he collects additional misfit toys along the way. And he collects them through the medium of the television, through the giant screen in the private dining room beside the Oval Office, in the residence. These people become almost friends and informal advisors to him, so... Not informal, he hires them. Larry Kudlow, John Bolton. The Misfit Toys, like, what brings them together? Like, what do they have in common other than their Fox or Fox business? A lot of these people are not taken seriously by the establishment, and that creates a bond with Trump because he wasn't taken seriously. And also that whenever there's a crisis, like Charlottesville, they charge into the breach to defend him. Bannon talks with reverence about when the Access Hollywood tape came out as this, like, defining moment where the men separated themselves from the boys, except, of course, the act of great heroism was Rudy Giuliani going on the Sunday shows when no one else wanted to. Trump remembers that stuff. And so, you know, Judge Jeanine Pirro becomes his legal authority, Lou Dobbs on trade in China. Look at who he's hired recently. He's hired Larry Kudlow, who he watched on CNBC for years. John Bolton, you know, Trump's engagement with Bolton was through the TV, mostly. You are in many ways seeing the merging of Fox News with this White House. And a lot of the quote unquote misfit toys are either regulars on Fox, Fox contributors, uh, or in some cases, Fox hosts.